couple of quick videos today. Um, a company called Kitbest on Amazon uh, sent me these two things to test. And uh, one of the reasons I said yes was because it's two of the things that you actually really, really need. Everybody that works on cars really needs. And um, they're just ridiculously good price. This is one of those OBD2 uh, readers that will work with your smartphone. Uh, this one only works with Android, doesn't work with Apple. But there are many of them out there that work with Apple. Um, this one is Android only. But it's like $9 on Amazon Prime, including shipping, um, which is ridiculous. Um, anyway, it's just a USB dongle. You're gonna, I'm going to take this out. I'll just pop it out of the box. And plug it into the USB port. I'll show you in two seconds. So this is it, just a USB dongle that plugs into the USB port. And then you'll just go download um, software. There's a whole bunch of OBD softwares out there that you can, softwares, <laughs> apps out there that you can download. Uh, by the way, Kitbest, I will leave their uh, link in the description. And it's just a simple little instruction book. And there's a whole ton of different apps that have a ton of different cool stuff. Zero to 60 times, all that kind of crap. Um, Anyway, there are two QR codes in here somewhere I did see for downloading. Um, yeah, there they are for downloading apps. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to be using my girlfriend's Android because I only use Apple's. I don't know how to do the QR stuff with an Android, but I'm going to try it. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is just plug this into the OBD port. Uh, I'm using the Mercedes ML today. I'm just going to plug it in. It's right up underneath the dashboard. I'm just going to plug that in there and I'm going to figure out how to use the QR code on an Android, which I do not know how to use. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll don't let, download that and show you in two seconds so how that works. So I've slightly evolved and learned how to uh, install an app and hook up something to Bluetooth on an Android, uh, which I've never done before. Um, anyway, Torque is, Torque Lite is the one you don't have to pay for, uh, is the one that I downloaded. Um, by the way, I'm going to be giving this OBD uh, reader to someone. Uh, if you want it in the comment section, just write, want OBD, and I'll send it to someone for free. Um, anyway, uh, oh, okay, cool. There's some gauges going here. So we got acceleration, vacuum, speed, engine load. There shouldn't be an engine load because I'm not driving. It is showing vacuum, so got the vacuum gauge going. Anyway, this is torque. There, there are different OBD programs uh, that you can use. This little OBD thingy that I plugged in can be used with any of these apps. Uh, speed, obviously, I'm not work running. Um, there's a coolant temperature. Let's just play with torque for a minute and see how this works. Um, so add a display. We're going to add a dial. And there's all this crap that we can choose. Um, oh, let's just see voltage, engine voltage. Let's make it large. I crank the fan on to watch the voltage go down. It should drop, it did. Turn it off. It should go up a little bit. It does. So I'm sure there's some way to, on this app, to get them all to work. Uh, this has got accelerometers and stuff on it. Let's play with an accelerometer. So you can do zero to 60 times and stuff. Let's make it a graph. Um, acceleration sensor, total large. But since we're not moving anywhere, let's shake the car. <laughs> and. Yeah, it works. Go side to side. Apparently. Anyway, that's all the kinds of the fun stuff you can do with this thing. Anyway, Kit Best, these are nine bucks, and you should have one of these in your car if you don't have an OBD uh, reader. This will read fault codes, but I don't think I have any show log faults. I don't shouldn't have any on my car. You should always carry one of these in your glove compartment, but this one you could actually leave. Um, oh, no fault codes. So you could leave this one plugged in all the time it's going to use a tiny 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 little bit of battery power if you don't use your car for days just 
don't leave it plugged in. Um, but to have in your glove box in case there's a check engine light, these things are great to have. I usually carry a big uh, OBD scanner around with me, a Mercedes specific one. Um, I carry it with me all the time because I'm an idiot. I carry too much stuff, um, but this would be great to carry around. Um, I think you can actually, let's see the difference between a display and a GPS. I don't know if it would pick up GPS, a voltage. I don't think I have a bank. Did I pick bank four? I did pick bank four. I don't have a bank four. <laughs> so whatever. Sorry, you have to excuse me as well. I've got a bit of a cold. My voice is like, Bleh. anyway, this is really cool for nine bucks. This little OBD thing hook up to any phone. You don't even have to spend any money for any of the apps. There's a bunch of free ones you can get. The more expensive ones are kind of like, um, well, this one looks like it's got like some pretty cool stuff. Um, I mean, acceleration sensors, zero to 60 timing. Um, yeah, zero to 60 timing, and you can log them and save logs and then email them back to yourself, which is pretty cool. This one's called Torque. Um, let's see exactly what it's called. How do I turn this thing back? Ah, ah. Um, Torque Lite. Uh, Torque Pro was the, the one you have to pay for, Torque Lite. Uh, looks like it's got a bunch of cool stuff on it. And it's one of the ones recommended that downloads by QR code, which I couldn't figure out. QR scanning, I couldn't figure it out on the phone. But anyway, this thing is really cool. Nine bucks, check the description below and leave a comment saying want OBD and I'll send this out to someone for free. Thank you very much for watching.